Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Jessica Abernathy, and with me today is Trisha Montgomery, and you are listening to Pets Our Family. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Frank. Hi, Frank. Hello. Hello, Hi. everybody. <laughs> oh. I love this dog. So as <laughs> Look at me. I have a I have a new puppy here. Oh, big yawn. Everybody meet Frank. Frank yeah. is my new puppy. He's 15 weeks old. I've had him for about a little bit over a month now. And um he is just the love and the light of my life. I just Oh, hi, so sweetie. Um, he's absolutely adorable. Um, and I am just so happy. I, I, we did a, we did a, uh, a navigating pet loss webinar. And it said that oftentimes we cannot adopt because of our own guilt of adopting mm -hmm. and that we felt that we were betraying a memory or something like that. And I kind of broke down after that. And I'm like, gosh, that was so that was so me with Mr. Moose. Um, I do want to talk about something, and and many of you all don't know about this. Uh, about uh, maybe three months ago or two and a half months ago, um, I had been doing some work uh, down in, in Beaufort, South Carolina, and I had uh, was very excited. I adopted a beautiful dog named Bo, and um, we came home. Everything was great. And about two days later, he started getting a little bit sick. And um, I, being in animal welfare, I know the three day, three week, three month rule and understand that and the transition. Um, so we had, um, we had, we had made a appointment with a veterinarian and everything um, uh, was waiting for everything to, you know, uh, when we had our first checkup. Um, probably, I think it was day, before he started to have really bloody diarrhea um, and uh, called the veterinarian and they said, you know that l let's get him in on Saturday. If you, if you can't wait, we'll get him in tomorrow. That night he started having really incredible uh, diarrhea and um, was in distress. I took him to fetch veterinary uh, here in Cape Coral and thank you, Dr. Wilson and the team there. They were absolutely fantastic. Um, and it turned out he had Girardia. Um, and then a, upon further palpitation of the stomach, the doctor asked if he could do some further testing. And um, that led to a, a diagnosis uh, of a gastrointestinal cancer uh, at the age of one year old. And um, I made a decision for me, and as hard as that is to say, um, I, I did take him back to the shelter and I just want to address that, that I did that. And it wasn't, I, I couldn't emotionally, mentally, and physically, I could, couldn't do that again after Moose. I really just couldn't. And so, um, supported his care and, and, and took care of him. Um, and then, um, I a flew friend in. of mine. And then I flew uh, in. Nothing wrong with this. You flew in. I flew in. Yeah, I flew in, and I got I got Brutus. You know, what I mean, in the middle of all this emotional mess that you're yeah. going through, it and was you get it, it was a t it was it was a tough time. It was a really tough time, and um, it was hard. Um, it was really hard, and I felt like a failure. I felt guilt. I felt all kinds of emotions. But I do want to talk about that. And that, that was the right decision for me. I, and, and some people will fault me for that. And I understand that, but I also know that that was a big leap for me to adopt. And I felt that it was just like the right thing. And then when that diagnosis happened, I thought, I, I can't do this. I mentally, and I, I kind of shut down. Um, and, and I brought him back. Um, I also, um, I had kind of, I think gone into a little bit of a depression and, um, my, a beautiful friend of mine, um, Angela and you, um, uh, said you, you need to get back on this, on this bandwagon. 
And so um, Frank came into my life. He is a rehome um, and he is absolutely, I haven't had a puppy in heaven knows wins, but um, I love this dog. <laughs> I love him so much. There are no words to describe how much I love this dog. <laughs> so he has brought me love and light back into my life. And um, while it will never replace the memory of Mr. Moose, he brings a whole new dimension to my life. And I have to say that um, I have a potty trained now. Say thank you so much. We are officially potty trained. He let me know this when he has to go out. Like last week, uh, if you saw that video, <laughs> I did not uh, let him out. And he knew that I didn't let him out. And he thought, I'm going to let you know because I have to go out. And, uh, and he peed on the floor. So that was, and plus it was storming. We had such crazy storms here in, in Florida. Uh, but um, I got him trained, crate trained as well. And um, we are now in, I think it'll be our third week for puppy training classes at the Dog Wizard, which are absolutely phenomenal. Love them. And um, we're learning come, sit, break, uh, place, and off. So um, he is a handful, uh, but he is a absolutely a delight. Absolutely a delight. So yes, this is Mr. Frank. Frank, Mr. Frank. Yep. He's, he's a, <laughs> I love that side eye. What are you doing over there, Jason? What are you doing? He, he gives you one. Um, he definitely Mr. gives you one, doesn't he? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. Him and Mr. Okay. Brutus, between the two of them, you know. But, yeah, we yeah, knew yeah. you needed somebody, something, you know. But, yeah, you know, it's, but that guilt, that guilt comes in multiple fashions. And I knew you had that guilt, especially with Mr. Bo. And, but that, there's, that, that that's a hard one to take on. I mean, it it's mm -hmm. just, you know, what I mean, as pet parents, you're going to always have some kind of guilt. And as we talked in that right. seminar with Nancy and Colleen, there's always going to be some kind of guilt because we're always going to have a feeling of, did I do enough? Did I do the right thing? Did I right. wait too long? Did I do it too soon? Did I, did, did I harm them? Did I not feed them well enough? Yeah. Did I, I mean, there's always going to be a, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I not? Did I do, did I not? Mm -hmm. There's always going to be, because you're always going to feel like you, you didn't do something right because they can't tell you, you know what I mean? The right. only thing that they can tell you sometimes is it's okay. Every once in a yeah. while, and I'm going to probably cry now. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, because I had to put Teddy down three days, which nobody knows that yet. Three days after I brought Brutus home, my um, yeah. my heart dog, I had to put him down. And that was awful, having to bring home a dog and then put my dog down. See? <laughs> you know? And then you feel guilty. And I don't, yeah. I shouldn't. Because, but he told me it was okay. Cause he came up and just sat on my lap and said, I'm done mom. And it's okay. You've got him now. You know what I mean? You've got yeah. somebody that will love you and it's good, but you always have that guilt no matter what. And I don't um, cry very often. I know. You know that. Hell, I didn't even cry when my grandmother died, <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I will over my dog. <laughs> my family's going to die. You know I, um, I'm hugging you right now, virtually, you know, that I oh, love oh, you goodness. and I think there it's, it's so, it's very, um, to let that emotion out and to have that raw emotion is, is so hard and, um, uh, to acknowledge, you know, that that happened. Um, yeah. it is hard. It is. And I, uh, with, with Bo, when I brought him back. I drove seven hours on that Sunday. Oh. You came in on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. I drove seven hours there and seven hours back. It was about a 15 hour day. And I was in the car just, you know, I think I talked to you throughout the time. Mm -hmm. and I made I you call just, me. To just, I just needed yeah. to make sure you made it home because I know how upset you were because it yeah. just broke your heart. Yeah. You know, 
but um, better place now. Um, yeah, and, and Bo's cool. in a better place now. Yeah, and and Bo's in a better place now. And um, mm. I have this dog now, and I could not just be. I he has filled a void in my life. As we all know, I'm single. <laughs> And I he has filled a void in my life that I cannot tell you. He sleeps underneath the crook of my arm and every and it's like he just snuggles against me. And I think Steve Dale just did something for Newsweek on uh pet our pets sleeping with us and the pros and the cons. But I will tell you, I sleep better with a dog. I sleep oh, better with him. I do, I do, I sleep so well. And I don't know if it's because I slept with Moose in, you know, Moose's sleep. And I've slept with all my dogs. I'm like, come on in my bed. Let's, let's get on, you know, and yeah. Um, but I will tell you, he is just, he's a delight. Um, he's, his personality is coming out. He'll be 64 months old officially on July the 6th. Uh, but he is learning and he's just, I think one thing that you had to remind me of, I am an exercise person. We all know that. We all know that. And I was walking, I'm like, come on, let's go for a walk. And his little legs were just like, ah, <laughs> trying to keep up with it. I'm like, he's so tired. And you're like, and you're like, he's, he's only three months old. And I'm like, oh, fudge. <laughs> right. Like, three months. Two blocks, maybe a block. You know what I mean? I'm surprised he well, didn't do the pretty stance. Like, oh, he did. He would fall. He would like he froze, and then he would just like fall to the ground and like not get up, and like his legs would splay out, and he was like, "I'm done." I'm like, "Come on, let's go." <laughs> I was like, I didn't anyway, know now, now, now I know. Now I know officially. It is five minutes for every month really with a maximum for these dogs of about 30 minutes total um because a day. you know it's supposed to, yeah per day and i am in florida and it is hot here i mean we've got you know 100 million percent humidity and it's about 102 degrees outside today he's i think he's gotten accustomed to it though because he's raised in this environment so i think that might be in you know what's going on but he he doesn't mind it We've um, met other puppies, we've met other big dogs, and um, yeah, he's, he's an absolute delight, but I'm doing things the right way, and I'm training him, we're eating right, eating healthy, and um, yeah, things are going very well. Yeah, and Brutus is almost three, Brutus will be four months in three days, mm -hmm. so he's four months okay. old this week, so he's about a month older. Happy birthday! And Yes, his birthday's coming up, and um, we're going opposite directions, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, that little booger boo, you know. I mean, we're, we're you, going you had a UTI, he had a UTI, yeah, we, though. Yeah, I thought he had a UTI because we're having a heck of a time with potty training. And I told you while I was in Minnesota, I was like, either this dog's got a UTI or he is just proving the Frenchie status of being a total stubborn dog, you know? And when we went to the vet this week to finish our last round of shots, I said, can, can you just test him for a UTI for me, please? Cause I'm losing my mind. I've potty trained a lot of dogs in my day and sure enough, he's got one. And I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you. So he's being treated oh for that gosh. right now. Yeah. So that, what are they, what are they doing? Just what, what are they doing for that? Um, we're on um, some antibiotics right now, but we've sent it off to get cultured to make sure we have the right antibiotic. So, um, mm -hmm. so we're doing that. We're waiting for that to come back. So I should hear from them in the next day or two about that. And then, okay. um, you know, and we, the other thing too, is that we were talking about that. You and I were talking about it. Cause I was a little, I was a little worried. Cause you were yeah, talking I about, said, yeah, but we were talking about Frankie, Frankie weighs more than Brutus. <laughs> Frankie's a month old, younger. And I was like, <laughs> I even asked the vet too. I was like, um, am I underfeeding my dog? <laughs> Cause I feed him, I feed raw, which I know is very mm -hmm. controversial. And I know that, but I have, I fed Teddy raw his whole, I, I got Teddy when he was just over a year. 
Um, and when he came to me, I started, he had really, really wicked allergies and I switched him out of whatever he was eating. I switched him to raw and um, he never had an issue after that. And it was wonderful. I just am a strong believer in it, but that's okay. Like I said, right. Yeah. Everybody has their own beliefs. I don't, I don't, exactly. I don't push anybody, but um, Brutus has been on raw since I've gotten him. And um, I was like, when you told me how much Frank weighs, I was like, um, I mean, Brutus mm. is, Brutus is a good five pounds smaller <laughs> and he's a month older. That's and I was like, I saw, look at his belly. Look at his yeah. belly. Oh, chop chops. <laughs> yeah. So I also asked the vet too. I was like, um, am I underfeeding him? Because I am feeding him two adult portions twice a day, you know? And I'm like, is it not enough? Because I do look up how many calories like a puppy should have, you know what I mean, at his age. You know, when you do feed raw, I am feeding him strawberries, blueberries. He loves cucumbers. He loves watermelon. And you know what I mean? I do all that kind of stuff. And I, and um, she said, no, he's, she, he's just going to be a smaller, probably a smaller Frenchie. And we both know that he came from a pretty large litter. So yeah. he might he might be a very much smaller, smaller Frenchie than yours. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Frank might be a bigger one because his litter was a little bit bigger, you know? So I was like, yeah. okay, now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Cause I was like, I felt really like, horrible when you told me yours was so much bigger. I was like, oh my God, am I feeding this poor boy? <laughs> so I'm a chub chubs. I'm a chub chubs. <laughs> well, I so this you, dog. They get guilty with dogs anywhere in life. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter. End, beginning, yeah. middle. You're always going to have guilt that you're not doing the right thing for your pet because they become your heart. Hey, and and your they do. And I want to give a shout out to Boss Nation. Uh, they yes. sent both of us some really cool stuff and Boss Nation, thank you so much. We love you. Uh, really appreciate you. In fact, we're going to be having Basel um, on the podcast in a couple of weeks. He's got some great stuff happening. They have a complete line of, of great products. But thank you guys for sending that care package. It was like live like a boss and like all this fun stuff. And I'm like, wow. So Okay, the yeah. little, they sent us the little uh, ice cube tray is what she, I call it. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Okay, so I know what you do with yours, but I make I make little I ice cubes. Yeah, I make ice cubes, but I put the little blueberries and I make, well, I make them out of watermelon, right? So I put watermelon okay. juice, so I puree watermelon juice, and then I put little blueberries and I freeze that. Oh, you would think that I walk on water. So thank you, Boss Nation, because I got little footprints <laughs> of the watermelon and blueberry treats. And I am like the no. baby over here. <laughs> Now I did with that tray, I did plain yogurt. I did a little bit of probiotic and then I did a blueberry on the top. And so it looks super cute. And so we get a treat of that. That was our first round. So we're going to make, I think the next run, we're going to do something different with, um, maybe we'll do the watermelon. We should have some recipes up there, by the way. We should do that, Jessica. Yeah, we should. But, yeah, know, we thank do you. watermelon. Thank you, Basil. And that's going to be super cool. And they're going to have a party. And we got invited to the party at Super Zoo. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I think it's a top golf. Going to be super oh, fun. Uh, yeah, I think it's a top golf. I think so in, in Las Vegas. So that's going to be a lot of fun, too. Um, yeah. But yeah, lots of stuff going on here. I want to take a moment and th say thank you for everyone um, from Moose's March and Pets and Family who joined us for our Navigating Pet Loss and Grief webinar uh, with uh, uh, Colleen Rowland and Dr. Nancy Corrado. Um, just, man, we've had like over 6,000 views on that and just uh, have had so many people reach out to us. Um, I am just blown away by that. And I also want to give a shout out to uh, Jacqueline, uh, Remember Me as Sunshine. See, she sent me a beautiful book, and I just thank you for that. I really appreciate you. Um, that was so kind of you to send that book my way, and, and um, thank you for that. Um, just lots of stuff going on here. Having a new puppy, um, I honestly thought it was going to be so much more difficult than it was. It's not. Um, I think that's because I was, uh, I actually saw Harlow, my fr friend Cindy Briney, her dog, 
um, uh, the little dachshund. And uh, I was taking Harlow out at like two o'clock in the morning and three o'clock and four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh my God, <gasps> I never want to live through this again. Uh, but it was tough. And, uh, but this dog, he is going to bed at about 9, 15, 9, 30. And he asleep until about 6, 30 in the morning, which is very amazing. So yeah, yeah, Brutus goes about nine, about nine at night, but I get up early. So, and he yeah. gets up around, I try to let him sleep so that way he doesn't get on my schedule. Cause I wake up between three and four in the morning. So I don't want to yeah. torture anybody that ever takes care of him. <laughs> so I try to let him sleep, but he gets up between anywhere between four and six in the morning, depending on how, you know, how much oh. noise I make. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. agree. Same thing with me. I let him, I, he just like, I think I sent you that picture where he's just sleeping in the bed and I just cover him up. I'm like, I gotta go. So <laughs> it works yeah. out really today, well. Though. Yeah. So in my office, I have a bed right next to my desk. And today he figured out how to get up there and he's sleeping. And then he woke up and he just like walks across my desk and stands here. And he's like, hey, hey. And I'm like, yeah, this ain't going to work. <laughs> Mama's got to work I'm so here. I can eat you. I'm here <laughs> for sure, for yeah. sure. Ah, uh, so we've had a we've had a busy couple of weeks here. I think we're going to be having some more webinars coming up soon. Uh, we've had a lot of yeah. requests for those too, and um, yeah. So pets are we'll really welcome, welcome, Frank, to our family. Oh, I, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was sent, um, I was sent two gifts because of Brutus one, um, because, you know, Brutus is, you know, he's all black. Right. And he's got those ears. I mean, those ears are huge. Right. So we, we keep calling mm -hmm. him Batman. <laughs> we call him Brutus, AKA, Batman. you know what I mean? So instead of, you know, you know, uh, Batman's real name was what, um, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> so we call him Brutus mm -hmm. Batman. So um, my I sister who, you know, yeah, my sister down there in that Florida, new. like near you, uh-huh, she bought him his tag and it is the outline of the bat symbol that goes up in the air. So it's <gasps> got the bat symbol and it says, I love it. <laughs> it is so cute. I love yeah, that. I picture. I love yeah, also, just that picture. So before you get excited, but I have that picture, just it is so cute. So I got that. And then, um. I had another family member send me a, um, a cutout that I could put on the back of a car and it says Frenchy mom. <laughs> I, I that love cute. that. And Hey, and I, you sent me a lot of poop bags from green line pet supply and some, and some dispensers. And I got this massive box. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I am never going to go through that many poop bags. Hello. I'm almost out. <laughs> Seriously, you know, and anybody that's oh, listening, yeah. just so you know, poop bags. Jennifer at Greenline Pet Supply, we love her bags. That is the only bags we use. Yeah. So when you, you know, when you told me you were getting Frank, I, I just automatically went online. I bought you 200 rolls. <laughs> I think it was or something insane like and that. And I've gone through I like a hundred. <laughs> Yeah, I sent you. I sent you two dispensers. So you get the banner bags, which we love. I have two. I have one on my purse that we're buying the backpack thing I always carry, and I have one on his leash. <laughs> so I always have one with me. And I oh love my it. god, I'm actually out. I have to order from her today too because I was like, um, oh, hold on, I can hear him. <laughs> hold on, Bruce wants to say hi. Hold on. Say, oh, I want to come say hi to Frank. <laughs> say, I, I got to come say hi. Hello. <laughs> say, Hello. Hi. So uh, he's like, I got to come say hi. And we're going to have yeah, to cut have this to short because this, this one's got to go to the bathroom now. So I'm going to have to say <laughs> goodbye to you guys. Thank you all so much. All right, we'll, uh, we'll send it. We'll put all the links to all the folks that have been so good to all of us in our thing and we'll see you guys next week with some other fun things and we're looking forward Absolutely. to talking to you guys too so talk to you guys bye soon. bye, bye.
Thanks for listening to Pets Are Family. You can find us on all the channels now. Yes, all the channels now. So make sure you share us with your friends, your families, and your coworkers, and anybody that has a pet. Make sure you like us, give us your feedback, tell us if anything that you want us to talk about, all that fun stuff. You can reach me at jessica at petsourfamily.net or trisha at petsourfamily.net. Thank you for everything that you guys do, but make sure you like us, subscribe, um, check us out on YouTube. You can always see what we're up to. And we want to thank all of our sponsors, all of the people that support us. We love every one of you and we can't thank you enough. And remember, check out Moose's March, moosesmarch.com, M O O S E S M A R C H dot com. Come check us out. Talk to you guys soon. We'll see you next week. Bye.